Hey guys, it's Teal from TealYielding.com and I'm coming at you kind of on the fly tonight and it is storming and raining outside um, and I'm just hoping that we keep power so I could be doing this video in the dark um, but if it is, uh, if that's what happens then we will just roll with the punches. So I talked a little bit yesterday about overcoming poor body image and some important things to kind of ask yourself if you tend to fall in that trap. I think a lot of us, especially women, tend to struggle with this from time to time. Um, I think on some level everybody struggles with it a little bit. Um, especially if you, if it's hard for you to uh, be positive about yourself, especially when it comes to, comes to seeing pictures of yourself, thing, you know, pointing out things about your body and, and immediately going to the negative. Um, that could mean that you kind of struggle with that a little bit. And, and I think it's normal. I think a lot of us uh, do deal with this. Now, some extreme cases can be where people will go to crazy extreme measures um, because they have such a poor body image and that's when we get into eating disorders and things like that. So, and that's a very real serious thing and, and it all starts somewhere and I mentioned about um, it really being a problem in young girls and it's everywhere we see. It's, you know, in magazines and social media on television and so we really have to work hard to uh, to fill them with those positive messages and to help prevent them from from kind of going down that path as much as possible and um, positive affirmations from from others from teachers support from the outside outside of the home is great but it's never enough it has to start in the home um, and by no means am I a perfect example of this but I do want to share a few things a few tips that we are trying uh, to implement in our home to sort of um, help our girls in this area as we raise them so the first thing is we have really tried to remove the word fat from our vocabulary we have stopped talking about fat versus thin uh, we do not we try very hard not to use that word especially when we're describing others they my girls know that that's, that can be a hurtful word, that you know our words can hurt feelings. So instead, it, there's nothing wrong with talking about healthy versus unhealthy, but we have tried to, to stop the, any kind of fat-thin comparison. Um, we, we talk about how beauty can come in all shapes and sizes. And uh, the second thing we do is we talk a lot about how food makes you feel and how depending on uh, what you eat, it might make you not feel so great or it can make you feel really good. And... Um, you know, our, our bodies are the most important machine that we own and you want to feel it with the good stuff because if you had a really awesome, super expensive, uh, brand new car, chances are you're not going to put the cheap oil in it. So it works the same way with your body. So just keep that in mind. Think about how food makes you feel because food is fuel. It's not a comfort or anything like that. It, its purpose is to fuel our bodies. Um, we also try and let them know that you don't have to look a certain way to be happy. There's nothing wrong with having goals and nothing wrong with wanting to be healthy or things like that, but uh, to pick yourself apart like that and feel like you can't be happy unless something is different about your body, that that's not where happiness comes from. Also, um, the importance of just showing kindness to others. You know, I mentioned that, you know, words can be hurtful. Um, work on building each other up instead of tearing each other down. And uh, lastly, and I think this is so important, especially for moms, is don't criticize your own appearance in front of your children because chances are they will mimic that later on. Um, moms who do this are statistically proven to have, more likely to have children that grow up to do this as well. So that is such, such an important thing um, and it goes back to us. You know, we should be showing kindness to ourselves, telling ourselves positive things, trying not to pick ourselves apart, pulling out the negative things. It starts with you, it starts in your home. We can't rely on, on outside influences to, to make this a better situation for our children, especially if you're raising girls. I know this is really important to me. So um, I hope that you'll take these tips and maybe work on implementing them. Maybe you are already and that's awesome um, as we work to, to raise girls who, who don't struggle so much with um, poor body image. We want them to be strong, confident women. All right, thanks for watching.